I say hi and welcome to this quest guide for World of Warcraft. We are in Brill, inside the town hall, right here. We are going to take the second part of this quest line. Uh, we just did the first one, Speak with Seren. And uh, the next one is called The Family Crypt, where he wants us to kill eight wailing ancestors and eight rotting ancestors. And he's going to give her some items, so to speak. Dark lady, so we're gonna accept and uh, once again this is one of those where it's a long run but don't worry don't worry as always i'm gonna speed up the video so you don't see whatever there is between or kind of don't see what's in between and my chair is squeaking so i am gonna speed up the video and i'll see you once i get there Okay, we are now near, uh, or not near, we are here at the spot where we're going to start finding the ones we actually need for our quest. And they are just hiding up here up north, and there is a crypt here, uh, I think it's over here, you can't see it right now because of the fog, or it's over here, I can't remember. But we're going to find it. Um, yeah, there it is. I recommend you going to clear the way down to there because that gold skull is going to be near uh, down there somewhere. But then again, it's also going to make things a lot more difficult to, difficult for you because that's close quarters, which means uh, you have a higher chance of actually pulling extra maps you don't really need for um, uh, doing a combat scenario. Um, there's nothing worse than being in combat and you are low on health and figure out, oh crap, I pulled one more. Um, but hey, that's how it is sometimes. So far, I haven't died once with uh, my warlock here. I'm gonna see if I can keep it like that. Um, but I am going to go down into the uh, catacombs. Uh, there's some food. See, this is what I mean. Locating all these uh, crates around the world will help you save time. Though this was crappy food, because it doesn't matter. But it will definitely save you time locating a uh, mage for water and food. And of course, I'm still in the starting area, so yeah. Oh, there's a green. But we don't gonna need that, so I'm gonna disenchant it right away. So yeah, um, I'm gonna speed up the video and uh, I will see you once I am done with all the killing or thing to the boss. Okay, uh, yeah, that was just a few close one there. Um, I thank God I had plenty of minor healing potions. Uh, and I actually thought of something as well. Um, don't be afraid to use your uh, food buff, uh, not food buff, your, um, whenever you find food and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes it actually does take long, uh, just waiting or draining life, for, but sit down and just eat the food uh, at least I have half so I'm eating less uh, 
Are you explaining? I was I was on half health, so I'm using a lesser food to actually um, not waste the higher levels. So we are going to get to the last boss here. He's level 13, so he's almost our level. So I might have to shoot one shadow bolt for the first time in a very long time. So, uh, that quest is now done. So you have two options. And uh, I would just say, if you reached this point in my playlist and you've been following me as well, um, I know for a fact there's only one quest left in this zone, and that's in Brill. So, to save time here, you can, you can use your Hearthstone if you set it to Brill. Or if you rather want to run and farm, um, it's all up to you. However, if you are low on cash, I do recommend you take the farming route. Killing on the way back. Um, as you can see, I'm almost at full inventory and I'm actually have pretty good items here for selling. Here's almost three silver or one and a half. So yeah, it's, it's, it's worth it if you are low on cash. But since uh, I think I am pretty okay, uh, I did splurge a bit on uh, my, um, my professions a bit. So I think I'm okay. So I will Hearthstone to Brill. Let's hope he doesn't attack. He did. So he has a pretty uh, quick respawn tower. That's good to know. Oh, and another... Two silver, that's good. But this time I am going to use my Hearthstone. Yeah. So there is the fine line between should I farm or should I do the quest. But uh, since Classic is so, uh, I would say, hard and difficult, especially for um, getting gold, I would recommend going the farming route every single time. What is it? So I'm gonna sell all the junk which I don't need. And as you can see, my gold starts going up pretty quick here. So, and I got plenty of materials for professions now. Um, another tip is also, if you are going to make professions all, all that, so I would recommend waiting for the end of the last quest in uh, Brill or the last in the second zone, so to speak. Uh, and then level your uh, profession to the max 75, but I can do my 250 now. Uh, you wait with that until you change your zone. Because once you get to Silver Pine Forest or second zone, whatever, you will start getting wool cloth. Um, so try to get as much linen cloth you can. So that's why I'm farming the zombies while I go from A to B, uh, which means I can spend an extra levels in the linen cloth level, even though I can use uh, wool cloth, that means I need less wool cloth for the next tier. So that enough rambling. So let's talk to Magister Seven here in the town hall. I'm gonna continue, and then I have two options: two hands mace or two hands staff. Um. I think I'm gonna keep with the uh, one hand and up because then I have to train my staff and I think that's in Thunder Bluff and I do not want to spend time going there. So what is worth most, that's the two hand maze. Complete yeah, the quest. So that's it from here. So I'm just gonna go sell the maze and uh, all I have to say I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next quest.